welcome back future medicos yesterday i brought to you the news about the increase in the number of seats for psg medical college in coimbatore tamil nadu and today we have some more news about new medical colleges so i'm going to talk about two new medical colleges in tamil nadu how much is the number of seats and what is the total quantity of seats offered in tamil nadu now for mbbs study come let's see so the first college i want to talk about is indra medical college and hospitals tiruvallur so this is a new medical college that is going to start admission from this year 2020 this college is affiliated to the tamil nadu dr m g r medical university chennai and it is going to offer 150 mbbs seats so this is located in tiruvallur which is very close to chennai and the second medical college i want to talk about is bharat medical college and hospital located at selayur chennai and this belongs to bharat institute of higher education and research which is a deemed university and this college is going to offer 150 mbbs seats so we have two new medical colleges one is a private self financing college that comes under the tamil nadu dr m g r university whereas the second college is a deemed university is going to be a medical college affiliated to deemed university so the admission for one college that is indra medical college is going to happen through the tamil nadu selection committee whereas this bharat medical college which is a deemed university will be added to the mcc round 2 counseling right so these two colleges the admission is going to happen with two different authorities now this is the total government medical colleges in tamil nadu this is what we have discussed even in yesterday's video so there are 23 medical colleges offering 3300 mbbs seats in common medical colleges of tamil nadu so this i have already discussed then there are three semi government medical colleges which are more or less under the control of tamil nadu government so these offer 375 seats and then let's talk about the new private medical colleges so as i told you there are two new private medical colleges in tamil nadu this year that is panimalar medical college and indra medical college tiruvallur these two will start admission from this year 2020 panimalar we have already discussed long back so i'm just focusing on indra so totally including this there will be 16 private self financing medical colleges in tamil nadu even though there is some cloud over sri muthukumaran we are not sure whether it will be included in the counseling or not right now it is not in the prospectus of tamil nadu but anyway let us hope that it comes to counseling like last year so if we include sri muthukumaran there are 16 private colleges in case for some reason if it is not included in admission this year then probably we are talking about 15 private self financing medical colleges in tamil nadu and there are three colleges with 100 seats each that is karpaga vinayaka sri mugambigai and cmc velur these three colleges offer only 100 mbbs seats there are 12 colleges that offer 150 seats each and then one college that is psg koyambatur offer 250 seats right this is what we have discussed in the earlier video the increase of seats in psg koyambatur from 150 to 250 now totally if you add all the 16 colleges we have about 2350 seats offered through private medical colleges and out of these 1290 seats will be offered through state quota or government quota uh, 1290 seats is an approximate number it could be plus minus i'm just giving you an estimate the actual number we need to wait for the tamil nadu seat matrix but roughly you can have a gauge that it's going to be around this number 1290 seats will be offered through government quota approximately 35 seats through malayalam minority 200 seats around telugu minority 400 seats are expected to be through management quota once again this number might differ the minority numbers or management quota might differ depending on how the minority colleges are going to offer the seats then we have approximately 337 seats under nri category 84 seats under sponsored category which is offered in cmc velur 
one seat comes under central pool quota again in cmc velour so this is the breakdown of 2350 seats so for candidates from tamil nadu you might be more interested in the gomen quota seats that is 1290 seats now let's look at the deemed universities now we have 10 deemed universities in tamil nadu or 10 medical colleges affiliated to deemed university the latest one is bharat medical college in chennai right this is the one we are talking about today so including that we have 10 medical colleges comes under deemed universities for this the admission will happen through the medical counseling committee or mcc now out of these 10 five colleges offer 150 seats and another five colleges offer 250 seats each so totally we have 2000 seats under deemed universities and these 2000 seats will be split under management category or general category 1696 seats and then nri category there will be 304 seats so totally 2000 and if you look at the summary government medical colleges we have about 3300 which is an increase of 50 seats from last year semi government medical colleges 375 which is an increase of 25 seats from last year private medical colleges 2350 which is an increase of 400 seats that is panimalar 150 seats indra medical college tiruvallur 150 seats and 100 seats increased in psg so totally we have 400 seats in private medical colleges and then we have 2000 seats in deemed universities which is again an increase of 400 seats in deemed universities that is there are increase in minakshi uh, savita i think 100 each and then vinayaka missions 50 seats and bharat medical college which is a new medical college 150 so 100 plus 100 plus 50 plus 150 about 400 seats are offered in uh, deemed universities so if you look at the total count in tamil nadu as of today we have about 8025 seats which is an increase of 875 seats from last year now you might ask what is the source of this information all the information i have provided is based on authorities information mainly the information comes from the national medical council or nmc so go to nmc website you could find all these details i have just compiled it in an easier way for you to understand thank you very much i hope you find this information useful and help you to plan for your admission this year i hope to see you in some other video soon until then take care bye bye